Lions New York has Mural Mania. It's their effort to preserve history through art where the scenic community nestled on the Erie Canal will be covered with high quality artwork. Their theme is paint and they will come. Joining us from the Mural Project are Sarah Gurney and Mark DeCracker. Welcome both of you, Mark. Well, thank you. The Lions you Chamber of Commerce and the Mural Project. And this is really exciting, uh, getting all the community involved in such a uh, uh, such a great effort. What is the mural mania? <laughs> well, it all started with, uh, we had this area, the bike trails, there's a linear trail that's gonna cross New York State. And we uh, had this, this area that had this old trolley abutment, and that's where the trolleys went 100, or 100 years ago, for, from 1906 to 1931. And it was in just shambles. It was uh, unsightly, there were uh, garbage, there were uh, couches, there were tires, and we had a cleanup day last uh, November or uh, April, April of 2006. And uh, Gee Winston Dobbins came down and helped us out, who became a big player in this in the future. And we decided to clean up. We got this community spirit going, and then so so, so the whole idea was to get this all cleaned up, cleaned up and 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 get. Was it the, did the cleanup uh, help you decide maybe it's a good idea to do well, a mural there, well, or was it the cleanup first? Well, we, G. Winston Dobbins had his incredible postcard collection, and he had the scene of the the scene. It told three stories: the trolley, the old Erie Canal with the mules, and this uh, scene of the peppermint business. Mm -hmm. And uh, he and I said, "Wow, that's a." could make a great mural. And we had this mural mania thing start, and I said, let's put the mural on the trolley abutment so everybody can understand the preservation of history through community art. And, and you can see the, cum the this is the, the community getting together. Oh, it absolutely, with the first day, I mean, people came down and they cleaned up the park. The mural we painted all, uh, all winter, but when the mural went up, the people just sat and watched as the five or 10 volunteers put the mural up and they applauded and were just in awe when it went up. And it was like a celebration of a victory for a community. Now this is the Street of Dreams. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is that? The Street of Dreams evolved because of the success of Winston's Dream. Uh, we had another mural called Street of Dreams that was, uh, simulates a scene from 90 years ago of our quote Main Street. It's, uh, it's a scene with trolleys, it's a scene with uh, old horses, it's a scene with a new a mode of transportation <coughs> at the turn of the century and people and women with parasols and the guys dressed up. And it shows that simpler time of life. And, and if I can interrupt, the neat part about that mural is where it is, you see as it was and as it is today, it's like a two for one, the way it's placed, and it's perfect. And, and what, what's nice about this, Sarah, is that the, the whole community took this on mm -hmm. and yes. There's, there's, there's something about that when the community decides, hey, I want to be involved with this too. Right. Like, exactly. Absolutely. Let's make a difference. When the canal trail, when people riding their bikes from Syracuse to Rochester, they can stop and be in awe of this beautiful mural now. And murals, I should say now. And Sarah, you got kids, you got community from all ages. What I loved yes. about this is that uh, there were kids, there were there were seniors. You know, you had the community garden. Yes. Uh, you had all uh, different uh, walks of life in the community mm -hmm. participating. Yes, and and you know, we'd like more and more to be participating but it, it was it was every age level and the kids in school started getting involved it was fantastic now this is another mural that you're doing now this is completed this is completed um, yeah this is what you were starting this is yeah this is the start of a mural called generations it shows a scene from uh, a pharmacy in the three generations the, of the Dobbins family uh, of uh, Bill the, the grandfather and Winston who was who ran it then, and his, his son Sean, and it, and this thing has got everybody painted in like a, a span of uh, 40 years, and it's a great, it's just a great mural to see right in the street and just involved, and the people are coming and staring at this and saying, "Wow, yeah, you know. and yeah." You and when they and when they did that, the artists from Casanova and Baldwinsville uh, were doing this. The dentist across the street said, "Hey, I want I want to redo my building. Do me a mural. That's so great grammar, but so so <laughs> now, you, what is what's going to ha what's happening? This now everybody wants a mural, right? Well, they do. We had this dream of uh, mural mania spreading, 40 miles of murals, and now it might be up to 65. We might go all the way from Macedon all the way to Jordan, and and there's a few that we have to fill in. But I had a meeting last Tuesday. Clyde wants murals. They want four or five of them." Lincoln stopped and Clyde. And so your job is to go in and show communities how to get organized and how to get the artists right, right. and how to do this. And and at the same time, tell the story of their history. In fact, we got a pound cake here. Uh, there's a story here too, isn't there? There is a story here. This is, I'm half Southern, so uh -huh. uh, this is a tr traditional Southern pound cake. In any home, they would fix these and serve them all week long because it's a very good keeper. And Every southern home does pound cake. And this was a recipe given to my mom and dad by a, a farm woman 
from North Carolina, and my dad started, quote, making it, but my mother actually assembled everything, and all he did was syrup, and he said he made it, and the grandkids started calling Pop Pop's Pound Cake. Pop Pop's Pound and Cake. And this is our famous, uh, I'll probably be run out of the family for giving out the recipe. Oh, but, thank you very much. But that's and okay. I should tell everybody that it is on our website at wcny.org. Now tell me about this, this uh, lemon curd. Lemon curd. It's kind of like the filling of a, of a lemon meringue pie, only a lot richer. Okay, and, I'll uh, tell it's you. very southern. You can serve it with ice cream. Fresh mm. fruit is great, anything, or combination of all of mm. it. You notice that we have peppermint on here, not only for our vegetable consumption, mm. but Lyons was the peppermint capital of the world once upon a time. There's the a Hotchkiss history. See family, how we tie it all together. And everything, you know, uh, so I said, I have to garnish with peppermint uh, just because that's a family thing. I want you to know that's outstanding. Lyons. And I want you to know that the work that you're doing, Mark, and the Lyons Chamber of Commerce, and the whole idea of preserving history through art, what do they say, paint? and they will come. Just like on the movie yeah. of Field of, Field of Dreams. This is cool. This is a mural of dreams. Mural yeah. mania. And yes. if people come to Lions to the drugstore, we can, uh, if you saw us on TV, we'll give you a little miniature photo. All right, muralmania.org on the web is how you find out more about what they're doing. And uh, we've got more Food With All Continues. We'll be right back.